Hi Scrubs, I hope you're well. So today's video is not what I planned to post, but I saw this on Foxy Ventures Instagram and this is the Banshee Frisian. So there is actually a video as well with it and it says, hey guys, we have a new Frisian arriving soon to Metacroft, meet the glorious Banshee Frisian. What do you think? So if we go to the next one, we can see this horse in motion. Now what I really liked about this is the fact that the tack, rather than completely covering the horse, is only on parts of it. I really love what they've done with the headpiece on this tack. I love the fact that it goes up and over the head and I'm less keen, I think, on the saddle part. I think because I would have liked if the colours from the front matched more on the back because I really love the, the black and red that they've gone for on the front whereas they've sort of gone with more like brown and black on the back with the silver. So I would prefer the red where the brown is on the rest of it. But overall, I really like this because it shows off the horse a lot better, I think. Um, because there was another horse that they showcased uh, three weeks ago, which was this one. And this was the new Clydesdale that they're planning to add. And it has a lot of tack on, which I think is really cool. But the thing is, it does kind of hide the horse a lot. You can't really see this horse so well under all of that tack. Whereas I think with the Banshee Frisian, you can actually see the horse pretty well under the tack and I think the tack really enhances the horse. Whereas this tack I think is slightly more covering the horse up even though it is quite cool tack. So I suppose it depends whether you prefer the tack like that or if you prefer it more on the Banshee Frisian. But yeah, I'd like to know what you guys think, uh, which of the two horses you prefer or even like if you don't like either of the horses, what sort of horse would you hope for that we would get soon? The tack sets, which of the two tack sets do you prefer or are they not your cup of tea at all? You can let me know down below. I mean, overall, I'm curious to see how this horse is added. Is this going to be another VIP horse? Is it going to be a horse that's locked to club chests? Um, these are the things that I am going to sort of wonder because we have been getting quite a lot of horses and I would like to see more quests because I quite enjoyed the quests. And I think if we're not going to get more quests, I would like to see the adventure game stuff earn club points because at the minute I can't really get any club points from doing a lot of the adventure game stuff. And while there's a lot of cool games in there, they're just, you know, competing against your friends and that's fine, but I would like them to earn club points too because club points take up so much time. I know for a lot of us, for me especially, you have to dedicate a lot of time to collect your club points every week. So it doesn't give a lot of time to do the other stuff. Whereas like whenever I had quests, um, I have never got any of the points from the quests that I did because obviously I did them before clubs ever came out and the thing is because I can't do any quests those used to take up a lot of my time I did a lot of mining a lot of competitions and things and those things would have earned me club points whereas like at the minute all I can really do to earn club points is train my pets and I know like a lot of the other ways as well but I'm not gonna sit and like do those things I usually just typically capture horses um, is usually the way I do it, or I train my pets. Those are kind of usually my two choices. I don't really bother with a lot of the other stuff, so I think I'd really love club points to be implemented in into the adventure game stuff a little bit more, or even make it that we can have, I don't know, design courses on our own club islands, possibly, and run competitions there and do those and complete them, and they'd still mean that we'd have to, I guess... You know, we still have to have horse energy and stuff like that to do those competitions, but that we could earn club points from doing them. I don't know, I just feel like I want, if the club point system at the minute is like one of the biggest areas in terms of like time spent for me, I would like to see it that different aspects of the game would all earn me points for that because then it feels like, you know, I don't have to be going, oh, I can't go and do this adventure game right now because I still need to get another thousand points. And that's always in the back of my mind. I don't know what it's like for you guys, but that's certainly what it's like for me. It's like, I need to get club points. <laughs> and that means that there's a lot of other things in the game that I don't put my time and resources into because I'm so focused on getting my club points every week. I just kind of went completely off topic. But anyway, so we were talking about the horses, um, but it is how they're going to be implemented and, and brought in and stuff like that. And it's going to be interesting to see what they do. But you can let me know what you think, either if it's about the horses, the tack, or what I kind of was talking about a minute ago as well. Just anything. What are your thoughts? What do you think they could do? What direction do you think they could go with it? Anyways, scrubs, I'm going to leave it there. I hope it's a little bit. Oh, bye!